three. Check, check. Today I put together a really interesting video and this video is gonna be covering lighting. I'm gonna show you a few examples of the videos that I did with lighting at uh, a dim level, a mid level, and a high level. I'm also gonna be discussing my phone on how long it takes to process and render a video. I have an iPhone 12 mini and an iPhone 13 as well. Also, have you noticed that when you use an overlay, an animated overlay, it takes much longer to process? This might not be feasible for your 360 photo booth production. We're gonna cover that as well. And also in addition to that, I'm gonna be showing you guys how this, how the, how you can get a view when you go to ultra view using uh, the vertical template available on TouchPix. You guys, we're gonna dive into these details and I'm gonna show you exactly what I see when it comes to quality. And sharing this with you guys, this is gonna help you guys so that you guys can put together a good quality video for your next event. Let's go ahead and dive into it right now. And before I do that, guys, don't forget that at the end of this month, on the last day of this month, I'm gonna be giving away a U200 light. All you have to do is follow me on Instagram and send me a screenshot to show me that you are a 360 photo booth operator. That's all I care about. I don't care where you got your 360 photo booth. I hope you guys got it overseas because that's what I've been trying to teach you guys is how to buy directly from the factory and spend no more than $1,600 and have a 360 photo booth delivered straight to your door. By the way, while I'm speaking about this, I know a lot of you guys are watching these videos trying to get that information before you take that next leap. Keep in mind that in all my videos, in the description below, I'm gonna put several suppliers. That way you guys can contact these suppliers that I've spoken with and you guys can kind of negotiate the best deal for yourself. It's good to have options. That way these guys fight for your business and you guys can get the best deal. All right, let's go ahead and dive into the video for reals at this time, let's go. All right guys, so this very first shot, I'm gonna do it and this is, this is considered um, the vertical screen, which is the longest screen that you guys are gonna be able to access on Touch picks. I got tongue twisted there. So I'm gonna go ahead and use minimal lighting. This, the lights right now that I'm using, now let me turn off this light over here. The lights that I'm using, the RGB lights, are set to the lowest. And I changed the temperature on the U200 light. So if you guys can see the U200 light, he's not too white or too orange. It's actually a decent color. And I'll adjust it as needed, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and hit uh, slow-mo and then I'm gonna start recording. And then we're gonna run this again and I'm gonna show you guys how ultra wide looks. And then we're gonna change the lighting as well so you guys get an idea how much lighting makes a difference in your production. Okay, so on this video, I want you guys to see a couple of things. One is it's too warm of lighting. You notice how it looks really warm, like a summer warm. And because the lights are dim, you don't get the best quality. Okay, so this is the first video with warmer lighting and low RGB light lighting. Cool, so this is gonna be the second video we record. I changed the lighting a little bit. I made it a cooler color. And uh, what I'm gonna do too is I'm gonna hire these RGB lights here on the top. One, two, three. I'm gonna come around right here. One, two, three. I'm doing this for all four of my RGB lights. And it's gonna be brighter. One, two, three. And you guys will notice there's gonna be a slight difference. And any little difference when it comes to lighting makes a big difference on the actual production. So let's go ahead and do this. And we're not gonna use ultra wide just yet, but we just, did, we changed the lighting here on this second video, let's go. All right, operators. So as you can see on this video, it's still somewhat warm, not as warm as the previous video, but you can also see that as an overall whole space, it's a little brighter because we did turn up those RGB lights. Now ideally what we want to do is we want to take, take the, the warmth and make it a little cooler and you guys are going to see how this improves when we make the next adjustments. One thing I really want to point out just really quick is just know how high these RGB lights are guys. So look at, look at the photo booth right here, right? and then look at the lights. So the higher you have these lights and then you angle them looking down, the better the quality is going to be. Trust me on this. Try it out, experiment it for yourself. All right, now this right here is a good video. Look at the lighting. Look at the colors, how vivid they look, right? This video, it's no longer way too warm anymore. The lighting is nice and bright, not too bright and just everything pops a lot better. And this is where you wanna get at with your production at every event. Enjoy. For this next video, we're gonna use the ultra wide feature. And what I'm gonna do as well is I'm gonna go into the settings, not, not, the, not the phone touch picks settings, but this light, and I'm gonna make it a little cooler. 
uh, just so that we can figure out what I think right here. We're going to go with this amount of coolness and then we're going to go to ultra wide on touch picks. Uh, when you go to ultra wide on, on a touch picks, guys, you're going to realize that unfortunately you give up some of the quality. So let me show you exactly what I mean. Let's go ahead and do that. I'm just looking for the section for the ultra wide right here. Lens type ultra wide. All right. Cool. Did I select it correctly? Lens. No, I didn't. Ultra wide. Done. Warning. Okay. Go back. So this is how the ultra wide looks like. You'll see that the the it, you'll see the video right now. So what I did is I made it ultra wide on this last video, and I changed this to a cooler temperature. And for the lighting, I'm gonna go up one more level here for the uh, the top lights. In these videos, you'll notice the lighting difference. Um, when it comes to the 360 photo booth, why are you guys so quiet? It's spooky. Like, what are those minions don't talk? Uh, when it comes to the 360 photo booth, you guys always want to do the events at night or indoors. Outdoors, when the sun is out, the quality don't come out the same. All right, so let's go ahead and shoot this last video. All right, so you guys can tell right away the ultra wide does look cool. However, you will lose some quality if you pay close attention it looks a little grainy it's not as sharp anymore and that's because we're using a camera lens on the phone that's not the primary lens it's the ultra wide lens it's not the powerful standard camera so you need really good lighting for this feature all right operators right here i'm using an overlay with an animation when you're using an overlay with an animation one thing right off the bat you're going to lose quality on your video it's going to look a little bit more grainy for whatever reason and another thing is your rendering time is going to increase drastically now if i was to render this video with the same overlay but without the animation with the iphone 12 mini it would take about 32 seconds which is great with an iphone 13 it would take about 30 seconds now if i render this video and i use this overlay the animate with the animation it's going to take me 55 seconds to render and that's going to be a long time when you have people waiting in line so i don't think i will be ever using the overlay animation moving forward because it's going to kill the amount of videos i can make plus some of the quality Keep that in mind.